Welcome back, folks, that I'd spy Edna and Harvey the Breakout. And we last we left off, we're currently in the creative room, looking around and delaying examining the master key that's on the hook there. It looks like it's a piece of art. Let's check to see if that's the case. This is art. It's also a key, a key we could really use. This piece of art is really appealing to me. Yet it mocks me at the same time. Is that because we're not going to be able to take it? Knowing our luck, it's probably super glued to the hook. Let's try and use it. My standing here and agonizing makes me part of the artistic experience. So meta! Let's try and take it. This isn't going to work, but it's worth a go. It is very tempting that this is exactly what such art is all about. The angrier I get at my own understanding of the need not to swipe the key, the deeper the genius of the work becomes. And the more I realize I can't take the key, the madder I get as a result. Clearly what you should do is you should ignore that this is art and take the key anyway. But you're not going to let me do that. Alas. We're going to have to get the master key that Bladder has instead. Unless Harvey can find a way to get the key. Whoa! I really like that! Yeah, me too, little buddy. Let's swipe it! Oh, Harvey, then it would be ruined. I'm warning you, the player won't like that very much. If they understand everything that's going on here, they're beyond help. I've got to be honest, I only understand about a third of what's going on here. We're not going to be taking that key. The game's making it expressly obvious, but we could try and smash it out of anger. Then it will become a completely different kind of art. No, this should stay clean and intact. Ah, we're going to get that piece of dialogue. Fair enough. What about if we use the comic book here? Captain Useless has the ability to draw a mysterious pattern. We've already had that one as well, so we're not going to be able to do anything with the master key here. It's there to taunt you and to get you to try and take it and fail. There are three more things that we can do here. First of which is look at these pinking shears. Someone has scribbled beware of Frank on it. Strange. Beware of Frank? That's an oddly specific warning. Let's hope we don't bump into this Frank in the near future. Aw, I'm not in the mood for its snippy attitude. I see what you did there, game. Very clever. We can use them. Can we take them? We can! Ha ha! New inventory item. Time to use it on everything. Starting with Harvey. Shall we play appendectomy, Harvey? Only if I get to be the doctor. In that case, forget it. I thought that would be your reaction. Let's use it on the polo mallet. Hmm, that's strange. I can't cut the mallet, nor can I knock out the scissors. I wonder why that is. That's obvious. Destruction itself is indestructible. You'd be the expert on that. Are you sure? Perhaps destruction is in fact destructible. There's only one way to find out. More science by trying to destroy things in my inventory. I get the feeling that using the pinking shears on the water cup is going to ruin them, so I'll take that to last. Pen? Hmm, that's strange. I can't cut the pen, nor can I write on the scissors. I wonder why that is. That's obvious. Destruction itself is indestructible. You'd be the expert on that. I like that there's a slightly different line for that. Well played, game. I wonder what's going to happen if I do this. No, Edna, stop it! You can't cut up Captain Useless's adventures! That would be disrespectful! Um, Harvey? I think disrespectful is written with one S and one L. Huh! Who's reading the subtitles anyway? A surprisingly large amount of people. Me included. Potholder? Okay, let's part the two. Please don't. Some things are meant to be together. Like peanut butter and jelly. A coin and a payphone, pimples and potholder. Or you and me. Oh, Harvey, you're so cute. We've had that one before. 
What if we try and cut open the mustard? Can we cut the mustard? I'll quickly do this before you realize what I just said. Ugh, this doesn't look good. Like someone popped a giant ulcerous boil! Let's move over to the ketchup. If I combine these, it would look suspicious. Why? Isn't that how a pair of scissors is supposed to look? No, no, it's not, Harvey. Let's see what we can do with the police badge. I'd rather not. I'd only degrade myself doing that. Fair enough. What about using it on the cornflakes? Good idea. I'll give some of the cornflakes a serrated edge. This way, I'll get tiny little cinnamon-flavored ninja stars. I'll be invincible! <laughs> My dream crumbles before me. Oh no, your dream! And all the while, B-Man has just been watching us. I wonder what B-Man thinks of us right now. Let's see if we can cut the pot to pieces. We probably can't. Where'd they go? The scissors will lose their teeth on that. That they will, and we want to keep those. Key? I admit it's old, but it's not that old. And even if it was really old, it would probably manage to withstand the shears. Fork? Knife, fork, scissors, light. My collection is almost complete. It nearly is, but I wonder what you need to complete it. Only time will tell. Knife, fork, my collect. And that's a repeat. What about using this on the ability to sign Dr. Marcel's signature? Can we cut up something so immaterial? Sign or sing? The underestimated dilemma of the opera star. Ooh, that subtitle was meant to be green in color, not purple. A curious error. Can we cut up a signed form? I don't need therapy. I'll cut up the blank form. Yeah! A snippity snip, snippity snap! And then we'll give each other homemade lobotomies! <laughs> What's wrong? Why are you hesitating? Um, I think I'd rather keep the blank form. I would too, considering what Harvey wanted to do. Not exactly desirable. Finally, my toenail. And we have destroyed it. Predictably, that was the outcome. Now, we have one more thing we can look at here before we talk to B-Man. And that is a set of crayons, and I'm looking forward to the prospect of having them. Imagine all the things we can draw on with them. Now that's fitting. B-Man with wax crayons. That it is. Hello, crayons. Do you also get a waxy feeling in your mouth sometimes in the morning? The crayons have nothing to say. Excuse me, I still need them. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to swap something with B-Man for the crayons, I see. Can we try and take them? Excuse me, I still need them. Fair enough. Let's use all our items on them and see if we can make them unusable for B-Man so he has no choice but to give them to us. Which will likely mean they're unusable for us as well. But hey, mayhem! Look, Harvey, crayons! Cool! How many are there? Two. Ah, uh, not nearly enough radioactivity to mutate me into a giant monster rabbit! Keep on searching! Tokyo's next trampling can't wait forever! I don't think those crayons are radioactive, Harvey. You'll have to search a lot longer before you find radioactive crayons. The mallet doesn't have to be waxed just now. It still has a good grip. Fair enough. What about writing on them? The pen is great. I don't want to swap. Ah, that's saying that you don't want to swap those for the crayons. Fair enough. I think we should actually talk to B-Man before we go through these, just in case we accidentally give him the right item. But first, let's look at B-Man. Something strikes me as odd about this guy. I just can't really put my finger on it. Neither can I. Let's talk to him. Hello, B-Man. Hello, stranger woman. Let's give our name. And by our name, I mean the entirely incorrect name. You can call me Rebecca, the Relentless Revenger from Reno. As you wish, Rebecca. 
Actually, let's be honest about our name. Actually, the name is Edna. Pleased to meet you, Edna. Who's your little friend? That's Harvey. He's helping me to escape. Hi, Harvey. Cool get up, buddy. This person seems quite nice. Let's see if we can get some information out of him. Do you know a way out of here? A speedy mental recovery comes to mind. That, of course, almost never happens. Maybe that's because the criteria of mental health are subject to Dr. Marcel's judgment. And, to be honest, who would admit to his own customers that their demand has been fulfilled? That's quite cynical for someone in a bee suit. Anyway, some of us loonies use the old laundry lift system. The unauthorized changing of floors is possible that way. The laundry lift to freedom is yet to be built. When it is built, would you let me know? I'd really like to use it. Let's ask why he's locked up in here, even though we already know. Why are you locked up here? You seem to be wise and balanced. I have a theory. I think it has something to do with my clothes. Men in bee suits have a bad reputation. Hmm, you may be onto something there. But let's poke further. Where do you think the bad reputation of the bee look stems from? There's no question about that. The media. Men in bee suits are generally represented as the laughing stock. And the main culprit? Children's animated films. Animation movie authors are basically mounting a campaign against us. The Mexican in The Simpsons. Charlie Brown in Peanuts. Or Bumblebee from Transformers. Men in bee suits are the clowns of the media. I don't think Bumblebee in Transformers was actually someone in a bee costume. I don't think you've seen any Transformers, have you, Bee Man? Then again, considering how long you might have been in here, you might not have had the opportunity to do so. Also, I don't think the media is launching a campaign specifically against people in bee suits, but who knows? Let's ask about the bee suit he's wearing. Why are you wearing a bee suit? to show solidarity with other men in bee suits, to open the world market for the insectoid garment as conceptual performance satire, to boycott the fashion industry, and finally, to express my admiration for those hard-working honey collectors. Admit it. You lost a wager. I lost a wager. What kind of wager could you lose where wearing a bee suit forever is the result of it? We may never know. Why do you have such big ears? All the better to eat you with. And as a valve for my exceptionally high output of earwax, I'm afraid. Could we have some of that? I never thought I'd be asking in any game if we could have some earwax, but we may find a use for it in this one. Exceptionally high output of earwax? Yuck. Yes. It is no picnic. I don't think it should be used in the same context as picnic at all. This overproduction is some kind of an allergic reaction with me. I'm allergic to hot beverages. Ah, I could still use a good cup of coffee right now. A cup of coffee? Hmm. We could swap that for the crayons. Let's ask about what he's drawing, though. Are you drawing anything in particular? I'm still waiting for inspiration. A sip of coffee would surely be of help, but I'm ashamed because of my allergy. That's nothing to be ashamed of. My allergy leads to an overproduction of earwax. Oh. We've got nothing more to say. I'll be going then. Go ahead. He's a very nice person to talk to. Now let's try this command. What for? To produce honey? We could do with some honey. And now, let's put Bee Man in our inventory. No, he's one big fat bumblebee. We're not going to be able to do that. Right, let's see if we can uh, try and get those crayons. We're not going to be able to do so because we've been blatantly told by the game that we need to provide him with a cup of coffee. But there are still more items we can use on the crayons, like the comic book. In this panel, we see Captain Useless and Handy Boy drawing a treasure map. You know, it doesn't work if you draw it yourself unless you're the one that's buried the treasure. Maybe they have. Nah, that ain't no pothole to wax. 
Fair enough. And I accidentally clicked there. Let's use the mustard with the crayons. Which involves going all the way back round. Yum! Crayons with mustard! We got a job to do first, Harvey. That we do. Then you can eat your crayons covered in mustard. I imagine they don't taste good. Mmm! Crayons with ketchup! We got a job to do first, Harvey. Indeed. Now we shall arrest the crayons. We have evidence that these are cheap, illegal U.S. counterfeits of high-quality Chinese crayons. Unfortunately, we can't take them because of that. I'm going to not use the cup right now. I also didn't actually use the shears on the cup. I'll do that in a moment. I can't wax the clay. You could try. You probably won't get very far doing so, but you could try. I can't wax the clay. I'm pretty sure that was for the key. I can't It was. That's not the reaction I thought I'd get. Let's use the fork. No, thank you. I already have a waxy feeling in my mouth. That's because I smeared some shoe polish into your mouth while you were sleeping. Where did you get the shoe polish from? They're already peeled. That they are. What about the signature with the crayons? Can we do that? We can. Scribbling on crayons? <laughs> now that's crazy. <laughs> I don't know, we've done some pretty outlandish things in this game already. What's scribbling on crayons compared to those? Let's use the form on them. It's already been signed. That it has, but has it been signed in crayon? I can't wax the clay. And finally, we'll use a toenail on them. I've got better things to do than paint my toenails. Are you sure? We could have a completely different inventory item. Painted toenails, but no, the game's not going to let us. Right, we're going to save now, because I'm going to try some things that may destroy my precious, precious paper cup. And we only have one of these, so I need to be careful. First, we will do the thing that will inevitably destroy them, which is using the shears on them. Oops, broke it. That's not surprising at all. Now we're going to do the thing that may possibly destroy it, and that is using it on the crayons. It may do. It does have the consistency of, well, wet paper. Not even sealing wax would help. This cup is ruined beyond repair. But it's still an inventory item, and that's what matters. Now it's time to use Harvey on B-Man and see what Harvey thinks. What do you make of this guy, Harvey? I don't see anything unusual about him. Apart from the bee suit? Or don't you see that? Polo Manet? Do you play polo? Not anymore. Horses are too scared of me, but I'm quite good at figure skating. Why do you ask? Never mind. We were just curious. Pen? Would you like my ballpoint pen? No, thank you. I prefer the wax crayons. It's a proclivity of mine I cannot entirely fathom. And it bears a certain irony. That it does. Would you like a comic book? In this panel, we see Captain Useless fighting the Queen Bee. Who will win? We'll never know because we don't have comic two. Potholder? Do you happen to be in need of a potholder? No, I don't happen to be. I always carry my own pair. And that pair matches my costume. Whoa. Do you want to swap? All right, why not? Do we have... Ooh, we have a different set of pot holders. Wow, I didn't know that that would actually happen. Let's draw on them. No, those are the good B-Man pot holders. I swapped them on purpose. So we have a new set of pot holders. Wow, I never thought we'd get a different set of pot holders. Do we get different reactions for using our items on these pot holders? We may do. The mustard that inspires me to eat these pot holders hasn't been invented yet. Do you have mayonnaise? No, but I have ketchup. Yeah, but we... 
No, no, we don't get anything different. But we do have different pot holders, and that's what matters. Also, offering Bee Man mustard. Care for some mustard with it? With what? With it. Whip it? Whip dip? Clipped ship. Crippled ship? Going to the Hesperides? Ah, I get it. Didn't I say so? I don't get it. Some ketchup with it? With what? With it. Whip it? Whip dip? Clipped ship. Crippled ship? Going to the Hesperides? Ah, I get it. Didn't I say so? I wanted to see if there was something different there, but there wasn't. You're under arrest, P-Man. I don't have any sound evidence against him. Fair enough. What about... We'll wait on that one. What about the pot? Do you like pots? That's a rather personal question. You're not going to answer it, are you? Nope, no you're not. Do you know what kind of key this is? It's not the master key, that's for sure. That one is big and made out of gold. It is strange, though. I wouldn't know of any other doors with their own keys, except, of course, the door to the doctor's hidden room on the second floor. But he always keeps the key in a safe place. Ah, that's the game telling you where to use this key, and also telling you that the master key is made of gold. We're gonna need some gold. Wait, we know of some gold! The medal! We know of the medal that was won. That's made of gold! We're gonna have to get that. Do you need a fork? About as desperately as a third foot. Wow, a third foot would really kick butt! So why don't you just keep the fork? Seems like a sound plan to me. Do you happen to need a knife? We don't use knives in occupational therapy anymore. Ever since that incident, we only fold and glue. What incident? The barkeeper accidentally removed one of Professor Knox's lungs, but he only wanted to make a sandwich. And now you fold your sandwiches? I've lost 20 pounds already. Folding sandwiches must be quite an achievement. Look what we can do! I can forge the signature of Dr. Marcel. That won't be enough to base a career in the entertainment business on. Ah, that was never my plan anyway. Dang, what are we going to do now? Plan B, world domination. <laughs> it's the only plan B that ever makes sense. Signed form? Would you like this appointment for therapy? Do I look like I need therapy? Let's put it this way. If this were a rhetorical question, you'd need a class in rhetoric first. To be fair, you are wearing a bee suit. What about the pinking shears? I've taken your pinking shears. If I may make a suggestion, put it back. It only brings grief. Why? What happened? Let's put it this way. I used to be Hornet Man. Ooh, whoops. Ooh, indeed. Toenail? Would you like this very handy toenail? Not now. I still have ten of my own. We have far more than ten. And finally, let's see what happens if we try and give B-Man the paper cup. I anticipate it's going to dissolve into a pile of papery mushy goo. But it's worth a try. Hey B-Man, want this? Will you put your earwax into this cup? I guess I could, but I won't. Why not? We could use that earwax. Oh, we can't augment our cup. Alas. And so, when we come back, folks, we'll go through this door. We need to get B-Man a cup of coffee. And hopefully we'll find a coffee machine somewhere. We found all sorts of other things. A coffee machine is far from the most outlandish thing we could come across. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.